going into 18 years now like globally number one for 18 years consecutively this year and that trend has been replicated in kenya fine not for 18 years but at least for the past few years we we can proudly say that samsung is leading in the tv business uh, that is just not about the quantity or the volume of tvs that we are able to sell to our users but it also has to do with the value that we offer them in terms of offering quality products the best clarity that you can get and uh, the best technology that i think is available in the tv and uh, what that gives us is real value for money for every single customer that we have AI is big deal uh, and uh, goes without saying that along with AI, which is internet enabled, uh, security becomes a very critical uh, piece of uh, information that every customer needs to worry about. Uh, our TVs are not just AI enabled, but they are also NoxGuard protected. So NoxGuard is the Samsung uh, security uh, solution. It's Samsung proprietary product to, to safeguard uh, uh, the consumer uh, from hacks, uh, from from leakages, and unauthorized access to personal information and data that can be mismanaged uh, by people that are not really out for any good. NoxGuard is a layer of protection. I would say is a is a software solution that allows you to uh, uh, feed in uh, your your own data and and uh, and as a result control access. So this is I think an average consumer should be able to make sense of uh, this kind of uh, this kind of feature uh, so uh, samsung tvs have uh, uh, in the recent past uh, uh, been produced with uh, nox guard protection uh, we've had this on the mobile phone side of course for some few years uh, but for the tv business uh, this is a, a much more recent affair uh, and samsung is uh, uh, creating this essentially for two purposes one for personal protection but also two to allow uh, for ease of access in terms of uh, tv acquisition what we've done at samsung uh, with the nox guard is due to these rigorous tests and rigorous uh, uh, experiences across the world uh, samsung nox guard uh, has been certified by uh, very reputable global institutions uh, as meeting the standards really in terms of a software security protection mechanism uh, for, for, for customers that use Samsung devices. This uh, 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 solution works best when the device or the TV is connected to the internet. So uh, naturally to try and overpass this uh, or underwrite the solution, somebody will try to disconnect internet connectivity uh, go to the PCB board, uh, very tech savvy fellas, and and interfere with some parts of it. So, uh, what Samsung does is we have a backend uh, monitoring system that tells us any single attempt that goes at in this interference. So we've had that a lot of it, as I've said, on the mobile devices, but few trial cases on the TV, uh, which we have successfully thwarted, you know, uh, and stopped. In terms of advice to, uh, to, to, to fellow Kenyans and uh, every other Samsung customer across the region is the moment you have a smart device, it could be a smart TV, it could be a smartphone, it could be a smart refrigerator, for example, a smart washing machine. We have all those already in the line. Uh, if you have a smart device, the primary responsibility as a customer is to ensure that you regularly update the software. There'll be prompts from the manufacturer and Samsung, uh, we do that a lot. Uh, in the event that we picked up a case anywhere in the world and we've enhanced that security solution on that particular model, we'll send out prompts to every single user of that model across the world to make an update on their software. And by doing that, you're primarily also enhancing uh, and upgrading the security solution that is built on the Nox. Uh, number two uh, is the uh, is the Wi-Fi connection. You know, whatever uh, you need to sh be sure that the the source of internet is one that is trusted and reliable. Uh, the moment you gain access to uh, Wi-Fi uh, 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 connect connections that you can't quite guarantee their safety, then you compromise on security. Then you hand over 
much of that responsibility to somebody else so that is very key uh, the other bit is uh, uh, we have younger people at home for example ensure that you uh, make use of parental controls where necessary uh, in most of these devices so that in the event that you're not there and it's the children probably at home accessing them then uh, their access is limited uh, to areas where they will not just interfere with their own content but also interfere with the operation of the device and the gadget as a whole.